Hey everybody. Just wanted to make a quick little video of our dinner tonight. We're going to be having a Mexican dinner that I'm going to prepare. Um, right now I'm cooking some hamburger. And what I plan to do with this is to put some onions in it and some taco seasoning. And um, then once that's all cooked, I'm going to wrap it up in flour tortillas. Then um, and cover it up with either a cheese sauce or enchilada sauce or something along those lines and put it in the oven and uh, let that bake for a little while and then uh, we'll have our pocket or burritos or whatever you want to call it and um, then I'm also going to mix some uh, tortilla soup in the uh, Vitamix so uh, I'll be back in a second after I get the hamburger cooked here. I'm going to let that cook a little bit more and then I'm going to add the onions and the taco seasoning. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, Biggie. Um, at this point, um, the hamburger's all done. Um, I've added some of these um, refried beans to the uh, pot. And uh, I also had uh, Chip drain the uh, hamburger because I forgot to drain the hamburger before I put the taco seasoning in and the onions but um, that's okay because um, it helps get rid of some of the sodium in it anyway but um, uh, so that's what I've done so far is uh, gone ahead and cooked that with the taco seasoning and the onions and I've added some refried beans to it I'm just going to let that one through look, before I put it into the uh, tortillas. Okay, I'm going to start on the uh, the tortilla soup now and do that before I uh, put the burritos or whatever you want to call it into the oven. So I'm going to start out with um, what I've got here is a plate full of some cabbage. Um, about one and a half uh, carrots, um, some cherry tomatoes, uh, about half of an onion, maybe a little bit more, and a couple of small pieces of uh, red uh, peppers. So, and that's what the uh, tortilla recipe calls for. So, I'm going to put this some, in. Uh, celery salt in it. Since we don't have any celery, I don't really care for celery anyway. So I'm just going to put the celery salt in it. And uh, I've got a can of the Swanson's chicken broth. I'm um, also going to add a little bit of the beef stock with it that we have. Um, just a little bit. I'm just going to pour that whole can of chicken stock in and then add that. And then towards the end, I'm going to drain this can of uh, chicken and get the juice out or the water out of it and then I'm just going to put this in towards the end so we'll have little pieces of chicken in our tortilla soup so I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to put these ingredients in the uh, machine here into the Vitamix which is a great item to get if you don't have one um, ever since we've had this which has been about almost two weeks now I've made a smoothie in this every day and drank it when I got up. And I tell you, you really do feel a lot better because you can get a lot of your fruits and veggies in your system by using the Vitamix if you make them into smoothies. And you do just combine your um, veggies along with your fruits. And in the smoothies, you really don't taste the uh, veggies at all. All you really taste is the fruit. But... Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the uh, tortilla soup. I'm going to put the ingredients in, and I'll be back when I do. Okay, here it is. I've got everything inside of the Vitamix. I've got the can of uh, chicken stock, uh, a little of the beef stock, the um, cabbage, the carrots, uh, the piece of pepper I had in it. I don't think I mentioned the onions before. If I did, I, you know. But um, I've got on a piece of onion in there, about half an onion, a little more. I um, also put this celery salt in it. 
um, the cherry tomatoes, the I had about a tablespoon or so of the uh, taco seasoning left, so I put the rest of that in it, and uh, I believe it should be ready to go. So what I'm going to do is um, turn the machine on here and get it started. So here we go. I'm going to make sure that the dial's on one and it's on variable before we start it. So just turn it on. Hopefully we won't need to tamper. I'm going to let this uh, go for 10 minutes, or I mean not 10 minutes, 5 minutes. We'll let this go for 5 minutes. And uh, it should have some soup when we're done. Um, also I'm going to add the tortillas at the end here, as well as the chicken. Um, what I've done is I've taken the uh, hamburger meat that I uh, put the taco seasoning in and the onions in and the refried be beans and put all that inside of this tortilla and this is chips and I have this uh, verde sauce, salsa verde that uh, I put on top of his um, after I filled it up with the the hamburger meat, and this one's going to be mine. I took some uh, Mexican Velveeta cheese, and I put it in the microwave and kind of melted it, and um, I've spread it across the, uh, the burrito here with the uh, same thing as what Chips has is the taco seasoned uh, hamburger, and, um, and what I'm going to do is place, these are some great plates that, that goes in the oven up to a certain like 400 degrees or something like that so these plates are great so I just put it, place these in the oven and um, for a few minutes and let the cheese melt on that and let the uh, everything get warm and as soon as that's done we're ready to eat after I get the uh, tortilla soup done so that'll be it that'll be our day Okay, our uh, soup is uh, about ready, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on low here. We've got the uh, can of chicken all uh, opened up here. And I've also got some uh, tortilla chips that I'm going to put into it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. tortilla soup and I've crumbled another uh, tortilla on top so I'm going to go ahead and give this a try and see what it tastes like oh yeah that soup's really good oh, yeah that's the first time I've ever tried that soup so I'm going to go ahead and give uh, Chip his soup and go ahead and sit and eat mine while I'm waiting on the uh, burritos to get them out of the oven